Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will discuss about another psychiatry topic that is Schwer Stress Adaptation Model. In the last class, we had a discussion regarding what is stress, causes of stress, and how to manage stress. And this is about Stuart Stress Adaptation Model, which is a type of adaptation model to provide all type of care and how to integrate all type of care or all contexts of care into one conceptual framework that we will see in this video. The model incorporates or integrates the biological, psychological, social, ethical, policy and advocacy aspects of patient care, all aspects of patient care into one framework for effective practice. The model was developed by Gil Stewart from his perspectives of psychiatric nursing and the application of this knowledge to clinical practice. So it is known as Stewart's stress adaptation model to provide care to the patient by combining everything into one framework. There are five assumptions we can see in this Stewart's stress adaptation model. The first assumption is saying that nature is organized in social hierarchy from the simplest unit to the most complex. That means from the small cell to a complete human. Each level is connected from the cell to tissues, from the tissue, complex tissues, group of tissues, a human being, human being, an individual, group of individual, family, society, community. So everything is related. So, nothing is existing isolation. So, individual is a part of family, group, community, society. Or, and this larger biosphere is a part of individual. And everyone is related to each other. So, that is the most important thing a nurse must understand while giving care. So, the most basic level of nursing intervention to consider how individuals relate to the whole people and the society because everything is related. Everything is related. That is the first point of care. Well, coming to the second assumption, the nursing care is provided within the biological psychological, social, legal, ethical policy and advocacy context. So it is provided based on some theories so the, or based on some particular context. So the nurse must understand each of this context in the proper way to provide complete nursing care. So there are a lot of theories or there are a lot of context related theories we can see in nursing care related to psychology, neurobiology, pharmacology, psychopathology, learning, sociocultural, cognitive, behavioral, economic, organizational, political, legal, political, legal, interpersonal, family and milieu therapy. So there are a lot of contexts that are there in nursing care. So theoretical aspect knowledge also very important. So the nurse must understand that all these contexts are important while giving care. The next thing is third assumption. The third assumption is saying that the health and illness and the adaptation and maladaptation are two distinct continent. Health and illness, adaptation and maladaptation are two distinct continents. The health and illness continents originating from medical world point of view. Health and illness, it is related to the medical point of view. The person is having good health. The person is suffering from illness. These things are related or originating from medical worldview. Second thing is adaptation and maladaptation. This continuum originating from a nursing point of view. Adaptation, whether the patient is getting adapted with the situation or not adapting or maladaptation is there. This adaptation and maladaptation continuum is originating from the nursing point of view and these two continuums are interrelated also. But health and illness and adaptation and maladaptation are two distinct continuums. That is the third consumption by or that is the third assumption by Stuart's stress adaptation model. Next is fourth assumption. Fourth assumption is saying that in prevention, 
that means primary, secondary, tertiary prevention or in prevention and treatment and recovery, all the things will explain in four stages of psychiatric care. So all this prevention, treatment and all the recovery things, it will everything will explain in four stages of nursing care. They are crisis, acute care, health maintenance, health promotion, crisis stage, the acute stage, health maintenance stage, health promotion stage. For each of this treatment stage or each stage of treatment, there is a focus in goal, nursing assessment, a nature of intervention and expected outcome in nursing care because it includes the full continuum of care. So in crisis, in acute level of treatment, in health maintenance part, in health promotion part, there must be a goal. There must be an assessment and assessment is having a nature there must be an intervention and this intervention having a nature and there must be an expected outcome and all these things are included in the continuum of care so in prevention that means primary secondary tertiary prevention or in the treatment or in the recovery all in these three things four aspects crisis acute health maintenance and health promotion these four aspects we can see and all these four aspects is related to or all these four aspects having a goal nursing assessment nature of interventions and expected outcomes and these are all the continuum of care next is fifth assumption it is based on the use of nursing process and professional performance and practice standard to provide nursing care there is some standards we have to follow in psychiatry there are some standard already i have uploaded the video related to the nursing standards you can check in this link you will get the information regarding professional performance standard and professional practice standards these standards we have to follow while giving care be in the sense the nurse must follow while giving the care and the psychiatric nursing care is giving through some particular standard they are assessment diagnosis outcome identification, planning, implementation, evaluation, and each step is equally important from diagnosis or from assessment till evaluation, each steps are equally important. To understand the importance, you must know about the professional performance and professional practice standard. That is the fifth, fifth assumption. And there is the diagrammatic presentation of Stewart's trust adaptation model and how this continuum of care and how this continuum of care is related what is health and illness and what is adaptation and maladaptation the nature it is not a simple thing every individual is related you must understand each context of care each aspect or theoretical aspects and practical aspect always one thing should be in your mind that no one is isolated so while giving nursing care psychiatric nursing care the nurse must understand that individual is not a simple thing it is it is a complex thing individual that is a complex thing individual is related to a lot of things the nurse must understand that so these are all the fifth and or first second third fourth and fifth assumptions of stewards trust adaptation model hope you understand guys thank you